Welcome to MBS Live, where we bring you the hottest jazz live performance. I'm Francis, your host, and tonight I have a very special feature for you. Mr. Will Calhoun, you might heard him from uh, the Living Color or from his latest CD, Native Lands. But tonight he's here doing some live stuff in Harlem at the Shrine with Mark Carey, Mark Kelly, Corey Wilkes, and Marcus Strickland. So come on, let's go check him out. playing with Will is that there's no, uh, we have a format, but we it, it, everything is a blueprint. And we don't have something that we stick to, it's just about being free. Like Will, he never really plays the same thing over and over again. Like every night is a new night whenever we go on the road. Like he has, you know, he has standard things, standard things that he, that he plays, you know, that everybody does. Like there's shit, but every, cut, roll back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The way that the music, the direction of the music went tonight? No, not at all. I'm, I'm always wide open for, for any excursion in the music with Will, you know. Now I'm here with the fabulous Will Calhoun. Thank you for having us. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to be here. You know, you are one of the most versatile and gifted drummer. And you've been able to not let the industry put you in a genre, and you've been able to create some groundbreaking works and multi-genre. How do you keep being so fluid and being so productive? First of all, thank you very much. I guess for me, music is just spiritually based, you know, so it's, it's, it's not based on the industry for me. 
there is an industry, I am a part of the industry, and I have to partake in it in order to survive. But my love and my passion comes from researching music and traveling to Africa as much as, as possible and, and staying in Mali and staying in, in, in Senegal and staying in, in, in uh, Morocco and these kind of places and researching Ganawa and Marakatu and, and uh, you know, Manding music. And this for me, this is the, as well as being in the, you know, here and working with electronics and funk and hip hop and rock and rap. So the most important thing for me is sound. Once I have a vocabulary of sound, I feel like I can adapt myself to any situation, to commercial music or rock or rap or whatever, but not think about it in styles. Like, I don't really believe in styles of music, but I just relate to the sound. well known for having multiple pieces, for having like a very complex set of instruments. <laughs> so is there, tonight you introduced to us an African piece. Uh, yes. is, is there a special instrument that you're working now to define a sound? I'm still researching instruments that have existed for a long time. Tonight I played the Udu drum, and that's from Nigeria, it's a clay drum. And it's, it's mainly using ceremonial pieces. But in listening to the drum, it sounds like a tabla drum from in there. It sounds like a hip hop groove on it. You know, it has all of these connections. It has all of these lives. Let's talk about your latest release, yeah. Native Lens. Uh, what was the wonderful imagination that you got all these wonderful people in there? Give us a little bit of where were you when you're like, okay, I got to go make this album and this is what I'm calling. This is da 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 da. <laughs> well, as you know, I'm a member of Living Color. Living Color broke up around 1995 for about six or seven years. Mm -hmm. And I worked with, I started to work with um, Farrah Saunders and Wayne Shorter and Bobby Watson and these kind of musicians. And I had this, I had this kind of frustration about how I was hearing the music. Mm -hmm. And being a sideman versus being a leader versus, you know, my influences, what I liked about music. Right. And Wayne even and Farrah both told me, you have to go make your, you know, you don't belong in a band. Right, right now. Right. And I thought about my life. I thought about my early beginnings, hip hop starting in my neighborhood, uh, um, my jazz, going to Berkeley, College of Music, playing in church, all of those things, all of those experiences. And my serious love for Africa and Brazil and South America and those places. And I said, you know what I'm going to do is just take like a, make a 10 year journey in researching music playing it but then making a recording about the experience so it's a CD and DVD mm -hmm. so people don't think I just arrived at that point by right. osmosis you know I, 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 I spent time I lived in Morocco I yes. slept in the desert I slept on the ground in the outback of Australia I stayed with Aboriginal families I did it for real and Farrow and Mostav and Wallace Roney Antoine Roney and Marcus Miller these are all musicians that a helped me and also were right for those moments. So I went to handpick certain people that I felt that would fit into those, those situations, those sonic scenarios. And everyone said yes. I was very fortunate to be able to get that. How could they say no to you? Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to make the record a departure from how people know me from Living Color and right. really do like a Will Calhoun record. Like that's right. me.